lupin or lupinus species. Lupins are in the pea family, Fabaceae, and it's a large genus of plants. Most of them are herbaceous perennials, but there is one shrub, maybe a couple of shrubs, and a tree species um, from South America. But this is a good example of the herbaceous perennial in bloom. Let's talk about growing lupins. Uh, you want full sun to partial uh, shade for this plant to do its best. Um, right now we're in the shade of a nice holly tree, but for eight hours, eight to 10 hours of the day, this plant is in full sun. Um, it prefers a well-drained soil. Because it's a member of the pea family, um, it fixes nitrogen, which is very useful um, in terms of um, amending the soil. Um, and also, it's a companion plant for a, a large number of uh, heavy feeding vegetables. Uh, if you're thinking, you know, the, cu the cucurbits, the cucumbers, squash, also it's been used in spinach fields and, um, and cabbage as well. This is a great example of the flower structure of lupins. These can be up to a foot long and they um, start blooming. The flowers begin opening at the bottom and then progress up the plant. It's a great cut flower. I have found if you cut, if you harvest it at about this level right here, when about a third of the flowers have opened and you cut it, then they, it will continue to open in, in the vase. Um, if you cut it, if you wait too long to this state, then the petals start to fall almost immediately after, after you cut it. But it will last for up to three or four days in the vase. In the spring, the foliage emerges uh, in uh, early to mid spring, and it's this wonderful uh, dark green color mid-green maybe with a uh, white hairs on the back that makes the, the undersides appear a lighter green. And uh, it uh, also repels water. Um, it's what they call super hydrophobic. Water uh, droplets will roll off the leaves um, as if they were um, mercury. Lupins can be planted in the cut flower garden. As I say, they make a great cut flower. They're wonderful in the perennial garden. Again, they take full sun, but you could put them in the front of the shrub border. And they're a wonderful focal point in the spring landscape.